Now in four news now at six, the Spokane community rallies to replace one local nonprofit's trailer. We'll explain how it will benefit families in need. And we're set up for a chilly night across the inland northwest. Plus, I'm tracking multiple rounds of wet weather on the way and when you could be seeing more snow in your first alert forecast. And ballot security concerns ahead of Washington's presidential primary, why voters are required to mark their party affiliation on the outside of the envelope coming up. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. It's a good feeling to know somebody else is watching your back and got your hand when you need some help. See what we can do. The nonprofit Neighbors Feeding Neighbors can once again deliver food to families in need thanks to this new trailer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Derek Dice. Last week, we told you about how their original trailer was stolen. But in less than 24 hours after our story aired, the community came together to help. Our Hunter Bertram was there for the new trailer's first haul of food today. Brand new trailer, it's like a blessing in disguise. Yes, sir. With the drop of a pallet marks a new chapter for the nonprofit. I think it'll slide. Last week, Neighbors Feeding Neighbors' original trailer had been stolen, but just days later, the money for a new one came from the community. When disaster struck and Larry Berenger found his trailer was missing, he told me this. My heart's filled with goodness and doing good things. So if somebody do that to me, it just, yeah, it hurts. I've been, you know, I'm 70 years old this year and, you know, I felt like crying. Shortly after, he put a call out to his community through social media, asking for help and support because without the trailer, it cuts their ability to give back in half. Larry told me in his post he switched the word Spokane to Spoken, knowing this community makes wishes come true. Put it out on Facebook, just a picture of my trailer to see if we could find people to get it, you know, find it. And I figured more eyes, more luck. So I got a hold of Rick Clark. Rick Clark asked him how much it would cost to replace the trailer. With the power of Rick's group giving back Spokane, he told Larry to give him two hours. And sure enough, two hours later, the money was there. Yeah, yeah. In all, there were more than 70 donors who gave money to fund a new trailer. Larry and Terry told me they want to thank everyone who took part in making their mission continue. Without a community, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We all got to help each other. With the power of one central mission, a tale of theft turned to a tale of community good and togetherness. In Spokane Valley, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. Pretty great. Well, FEMA home inspectors are now working in the areas of the Gray and Oregon Road fires to help with recovery efforts. For anyone who applied for aid, FEMA may call you to schedule an appointment, and it may be from an out-of-state, unknown, or restricted phone number. To make sure you aren't being scammed, a FEMA investigator will carry an official photo ID, they'll already have your nine-digit registration number, and they will never ask you for money. In just two days, Idaho will execute one of the nation's longest serving death row inmates. 73 year old Thomas Creech is set to die on Wednesday by lethal injection. Creech has been behind bars since 1974. He's been convicted of a total of five murders, three in Idaho, one in California, and one in Oregon, though he's suspected of many more. Last week, Creech's lawyers filed multiple appeals trying to get the execution delayed. One of them was in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals saying the execution should be pushed back because it was issued by a judge and not a jury. On Friday, the court rejected that request. Since these executions are so rare, we'll have a crew in Boise covering this story for you beginning tomorrow on 4 News Now at 5 o'clock. Well, grapple has been coming down across the inland northwest. This video was taken near Ferris High School just not too long ago. Matt Gray joins me now in for Chris Crocker. And Matt, that's not the only wet weather you are tracking tonight. No, there's been showers everywhere throughout the day and the skies darken. And then five minutes later, the sun can, has come back out. At least that's what happened in my house. So hopefully everybody has been enjoying the, uh, the excitement in the weather today. Certainly has been inconvenient at times. And we've got more snowy weather. And I do say snowy because I did just check out here in downtown and it's definitely looking a little bit more like snow than grapple. It's it's landing much softer now. This shower pushing to the South Hill and East Central Spokane right now. That'll be moving uh, basically down Sprague Avenue and then over the Dishman Hills here over the next few minutes. These are moving pretty fast about 30 miles an hour, or even just a little bit faster than that. We've also continued to see some snow from the Indian Trail neighborhood into the Mead area, and then up into the mountains and the high prairies there north of town. So 
That's what we're seeing right now. More showers moving into post falls here as well this evening, and we saw plenty of activity that's continuing to roll up in the Coeur d'Alene Mountains. Scattered light showers as you head further north towards places like Colville. Things are starting to ease up a little bit on the Palouse here this evening. However, we are still seeing plenty of shower activity around the LC Valley, and we'll continue to see more snow showers around the Camas Prairie later tonight. So after the next couple of hours, things will calm down considerably. It will be settling in for a chilly night. Yeah, you could definitely feel the cold wind out there, how chilly those temperatures are. We'll be down into the middle 20s tonight. Overall, things aren't looking so bad for tomorrow, but once we get to Tuesday night, that's when things start to head downhill. We've got more accumulating snow on the way. I'll show you how long it sticks around when we look at your full week forecast coming up. All right, Matt, thank you. Well, a man who used to live in Grant County is being accused of impersonating a military veteran to collect thousands of dollars from the Department of Veterans Affairs. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Raymond Kenneth Musgrove is accused of impersonating a veteran since 1997 and fraudulently receiving over $825,000. Musgrove is accused of impersonating a man identified only as JMC. Although he passed away in 2018, the U.S. Attorney's Office says Musgrove continued to use the veteran's identity to collect VA payments. Musgrove faces up to 20 years in prison. Well, the U.S. government is trying to block supermarket giants Kroger and Albertsons from merging. The Federal Trade Commission is now suing, claiming the deal would eliminate competition in the grocery industry and lead to higher prices. Together, Kroger and Albertsons own dozens of chains, including Safeway and Fred Meyer. The companies argue the merger will help them compete against non-union giants like Walmart, Amazon, and Costco. All right, there's some movement in the latest AP Top 25 men's basketball poll. poll excuse me, Washington State has climbed to number 19 overall. Gonzaga rejoins the poll at 23. Sports director Julian Minnesota is here, and Julian WC's loss to ASU Saturday didn't really hurt him. Yeah, in the end, the voters decided that the win over Arizona, top five win, outweighed that loss to ASU. The Cougars are still in second place in the Pac-12 standing, so they're right there in a projected five seed, according to ESPN. WSU needs to get a top four seed if they want to potentially play in Spokane for the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Now, the Cougars will have a chance to get back on track on Thursday against USC. Tip-off for that one's at 730, 7.30 out there at Beasley Coliseum. Now, Gonzaga re-enters the poll at number 23. The Bulldogs are a projected 11 seed for the NCAA tournament and the last team in the tournament. The Zags will take on San Francisco on the road at 8 o'clock on Thursday, and that's followed by a huge game on Saturday. Saturday against St. Mary's. And of course, the Zags need to win to get another quad one win to boost that resume, Derek. All right, Julian, thank you. Still ahead, the Supreme Court could soon decide who should be allowed to control what you see online. Why some states say they should have control. Coming up on 4 News Now at 6. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Tires do more than keep your vehicle moving forward. At Perfection Tire, we maximize your safety, fuel efficiency, and driving comfort with the right tires for you. Quality Cooper Tires, knowledgeable people. Nobody beats perfection. Classic roast beef and crispy fish? Just two for six bucks? If Arby's wasn't already at Arby's, it'd be on its way to Arby's right now. Arby's, we have the meat. Adventure awaits at Silver Mountain Resort this winter. Enjoy some of the best terrain in the region, only 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene, right off I-90. Family, friends, and smiles as big as the wide open vistas. Relax in a beautiful condo just a stroll away from dining, water slides, indoor surfing, and 84 degrees. And a gondola ride away from our new covered carpet lift, tubing, and acres of snow rider heaven. Your winter adventure awaits at Silver Mountain. Book today at silvermt.com. I'm worried about the draft. We got some bad zone control, and I, I'm concerned we're not bringing the heat. Look at this. Crossover's off. We've got a weak dribble. We need a solid block, just not enough pressure. What do you think? I think I'm doing just fine. What? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. 
they assigned me to work with you? Miss... Ray, but you can call me Miranda. You're... me. Yeah, if you take the next step. How? Work here during the day, go to school at night. It's so worth it. Explore elementary education online or in person. Now accepting applications. Face your future with Whitworth University Adult Education Programs. Oh, Arby's brown sugar bacon. You always know just what to say. Arby's, we have the meat. Perfection Tire uses the latest innovative automotive equipment and technology. Plus, get the specialized touch of our certified techs who provide knowledgeable, caring service. Cutting edge tech, down to earth people. Nobody beats perfection. Well, the Supreme Court heard arguments Monday with the potential to change the course of social media in this country. Texas and Florida have both passed laws that forbid social media companies from blocking or removing user content that goes against platform rules. Ivan Rodriguez breaks down the arguments and how the court's decision could impact the future of the Internet. This is a high stakes battle and the Supreme Court is going to have an enormous say in how millions of Americans get their news and information. Also in the balance is how sites like Facebook, Instagram and TikTok could be reshaped when it comes to moderation. At the heart of Monday's Supreme Court arguments, the First Amendment. Can states ban social media companies from blocking content in order to protect the user's free speech? Or does doing so infringe on the company's First Amendment rights to moderate their own platforms? If this statute goes into effect, we'd sort of have to fundamentally change our business models. Texas and Florida both passed laws in 2021 looking to keep social media sites from what the state described as unfairly silencing conservatives. Florida Solicitor General Henry Whitaker argues the state's law is constitutional because it targets behavior not expression. He says the companies act like public utilities and should be regulated the same way. The telephone company and the delivery service have no First Amendment right to use their services as a choke point to silence those they disfavor. Opponents, including NetChoice and industry groups suing to block both laws, argue the laws violate the company's own First Amendment rights to decide what speech to welcome on their private platforms. Their attorney telling the Supreme Court the broad nature of the laws could lead to a wide range of unintended consequences. These same companies are getting hammered by people that say we're not doing enough to keep material that's harmful to children off of these sites. And yet these laws make it impossible for us to keep material that's harmful to children off of our sites. Throughout today's arguments, you can really hear the difference in perspectives of how that First Amendment should be interpreted. This law was also viewed by many justices as being too broad and possibly affecting more sites than originally planned. In Atlanta, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. We spend a fair amount of time each day scrolling through our social media feeds, but your kids spend even more. We did a deep dive to find out how social media can impact your child's self-esteem. Visit the KXY Plus app or our YouTube page to find out how social media is affecting your kids. And one issue with kids on their phones all the time is that they are less active. Our city, Charles, has six ways to help get your kids to move around a little bit more. It may compete with homework or screen time, but getting your kids moving is critical for their health. Benefits of being active go far beyond the way that your body looks, but the way that your body feels. Katherine Sherry with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Strong for Life program says the first way to get kids to be active is to help them see the benefits of it. She says movement can help with things like getting good sleep, boosting energy, and helping them to feel strong and confident. Second, it needs to be fun. It is not about sending them to go run to be active, but being active with them, going on bike rides together as a family, taking walks, but make the walk fun. Third, encourage movement by talking about it in a positive way. For example, instead of saying, I need to go on a run to lose more weight, try saying, it's such a nice day. I'm going for a run. Next, practice the forced choice technique. And what that is, is giving the child the option between two choices. Hey, we're done with our phones today. Do you want to go shoot some hoops with me or ride your bike with me? Fifth, get kids moving by being active yourself. Sherry says children often model their parents. And finally, Sherry says to never use movement to shame or punish a child. Being active and moving is a daily need. It is not something that should be earned or something that should be taken away. 
Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. And up in the mountains, it has been difficult to travel since all of that snow fell last night. You can see the low visibility here on Snoqualmie Pass. But uh, winter is trying to return to the valleys. I'll show you where that's happening right now and where we'll be looking at more snow later this week. Coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now playbook at KXLY.com. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. What don't you know about AI? Like, will it help at your job or help lose your job? Can it help with your health or prescribe the wrong information? And how do you know what's a deep fake? So, should you be going all in on AI? This week, GMA's got the answers. See your favorite Paw Patrol characters live on stage in the all-new Paw Patrol Live Heroes Unite. You and your kids will love this interactive adventure. Playing First Interstate Center for the Arts this weekend only. Get tickets now at pawpatrollive.com. For a limited time, Pape Machinery is blowing out select model year 2023 inventory at dealer cost. Pick up a brand new John Deere compact tractor for a fraction of the original price. Stop by Pape Machinery Ag and Turf today to get started. Start living your life to the fullest by living simply in a tiny home from portable cedar cabins. Less is truly more with all the amenities and comforts of a traditional home with a much smaller footprint. Each home is custom built and ready for you to move in and start enjoying the little things in life, including financial freedom. Homes from portable cedar cabins are about half the price of the competition and about a quarter of the cost of a traditional home. Contact Portable Cedar Cabins today. Your worry-free tiny home is waiting for you just north of Spirit Lake, Idaho on Highway 41. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time triple pet pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Giant, classic, and mini cup pepperoni? Now that is an expression. Order the triple pet today. All right, welcome back. You are taking a live look over downtown Spokane. No snow here in the valleys, at least not yet, Matt. You said mm -hmm. it's, it's doing something out there. It kind of can't doing decide something. if it's, it's snow or grapple or what. The last shower that came through downtown, it looked like it was kind of in between, right? Yeah. So it, it wasn't, it wasn't you know, landing with a bounce on the ground. It was a little softer. And so as temperatures continue to cool, we're going to end up with snow instead of that grapple with these okay. showers later tonight. Now, there are some places where it's snow already, so let's take a look look uh, on Highway 95. So this is the hill as you go up from Lewiston to get onto the Palouse. And as you can see, it is less than ideal driving conditions. And we have seen Rappel and snow throughout the day uh, in the Lewiston area and on the southern half uh, of the Palouse here. And we will continue to see some snow accumulations as long as this wet weather continues to stick around, which is going to be likely at least for the next 30, 40 minutes or so. As you can see, you head south of Pullman and south of Moscow, say towards the Genesee area, and you start to see that snow begin to work its way in. So we'll give it a couple more hours, and then we hopefully will see road conditions improve once that snow stops and crews can get to work. We have more snow on the way, though, for later on this week. Snow is going to begin more widespread across our area, not just these here and there showers tomorrow night. That snow level will be rising through the night. This is not going to be a long-term event for the valleys, and there will be a big difference as we warm up from west to east, higher in elevation as you work your way towards the Idaho state line and the Montana state line. Snow will going to be melting after the morning commute, so once again, short-term situation, but... Still, by Wednesday morning, we can see some pretty slick road conditions around the region. Here is what we're going to be looking like as we get up in the morning. Still some scattered showers, snow showers around the Palouse. And we'll be looking for some snow around the Lookout Pass area as well. Most of our day will be fairly calm. One or two of the snow showers and grapple showers like we saw today. 
that it will be largely calmer than what we have seen today so far. Now that, of course, is going to change, as you can see pretty plainly behind me here as our next system rolls in. It could be as early as about oh, 6 o'clock or so. It could be as late as about 11 o'clock to midnight. So still some issues here with the timing, but this is right about the middle of those solutions we're seeing in the, in the weather computers right around 8 o'clock or so that we start to see that snow falling. Either way, evening driving, not going to be too crazy. It's going to be in the morning as that snow starts to stack up a little bit, especially in North Idaho, where we're going to be staying much cooler for much longer. So here is our initial uh, estimates here of what we can expect as we're getting up in the morning. So especially North Idaho friends, we've got to be ready for some slick wintry driving for the start of Wednesday. By the end of Wednesday, Things will be looking a whole lot better, but something to keep in mind. Speaking of keeping in mind, we saw a bunch of snow last night on the passes. We're going to see a bunch more. Skiers rejoice. Just remember the driving conditions that will be coming along for the ride with those types of totals. We're also getting set here for a chilly night tonight with those clearing skies. It's going to be cold. 18 in Colville and Sandpoint, 24 tonight in Spokane, 22 in Coeur d'Alene. Max down to 21 and we were a record 62 on Wednesday. So quite a temperature change there in Okanagan County over the past couple of days. Here's our highs for tomorrow. Not that warm at all. Only 33 in Coeur d'Alene and Sandpoint will be in the mid 30s for most locations. We'll be a little bit warmer in Moses Lake and the Tri-Cities. Here is the next seven days. It's going to be windy again on Wednesday. Pretty similar to what we saw on Sunday. Gusts as high as 50 miles an hour. Could see some isolated power outages, unfortunately, like we did last night. Here's how the rest of the week goes. We will eventually flip back to snow after being in rain for a couple of days. Just some more wild late winter, early spring weather. Typical for this part of the country, though, right? Oh, yeah. Matt, thank you. Well, the odds Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley will secure the party's nomination have gone from slim to almost none. Over the weekend, she lost the primary in her home state of South Carolina, and she's now losing support from a major donor. Now, President Biden is facing a new challenge within his own party. CNN's Karen Kaifa explains. Next stop, Michigan. Nikki Haley is forging ahead despite a big loss in South Carolina on Saturday. You can't have a candidate who's going to win a primary who can't win a general. The former governor lost her home state by 20 points to former President Donald Trump. I have never seen the Republican Party so unified as it is right now. Never been like this. Still, she's bound to make the case for her candidacy for at least one more week as the race shifts toward the national campaign of Super Tuesday with contests in more than a dozen states on March 5th. But first, Michigan, where both parties vote this Tuesday. Some progressive Democrats using the contest in a state with a sizable Arab American population to pressure President Biden to call for a permanent ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. The grassroots campaign urging votes of uncommitted. They see this as an issue of uh, being able to make their voices heard and then if potentially a strong enough uh, uncommitted showing does arise that they will be able to uh, then sort of maybe push the Biden administration to navigate in a different direction. Other state Democrats understanding the differences but urging the party to stick together. I do know that we've got about nine months until the general election and we are taking Michigan very seriously as, as they should. Given Michigan's key role as a November swing state. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa. We'll still ahead, WSU head football coach Jack Jake Dickert stopped by the studio today. How the team is preparing to bounce back after missing a bowl game last season and concerns over player safety in college sports. Why some say the tradition of fans storming the court or the field needs to change. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. It only happens once every four years. So this week, Walker's Furniture is celebrating leap year with the biggest discounts of the year where you can get unbeatable savings. Every bedroom set, dining room set, and comfortable sofas or sectionals where you can take advantage of no interest financing until next leap year with no money down. But you better hurry to save this big. Because savings like these only happen every four years at Walker's. We love our house. 
but lately we've been feeling a little cramped. So we talked to ICCU about a new home loan. The process was super quick, and we got a really great rate. We start house hunting tomorrow. Preferably something with a bigger garage. The time to buy is now. Yes, RV show pricing continues at r and RV in North Spokane. Over 125 RVs are indoors at 525 East Francis. You'll save thousands with rebates and show discounts on Cougar, Rockwood, Montana, Class B vans, and more. Everything show price. Don't shop in the cold. Shop over 125 RVs indoors now at r and RV in North Spokane, 525 East Francis. Online at r and Jurassic Quest is back and bigger than ever. See life-size animatronic dinosaurs, walking dinos, baby dinos, and so much more. Playing Spokane March 1st through the 3rd at Spokane Convention Center. Tickets are flying fast. Buy in advance at JurassicQuest.com. Frozen water pipes are a serious risk during cold winter weather. When water freezes in a pipe, it can be a disaster for your home and your wallet. If you're not properly prepared, don't wait until it's too late. At Mainstream, we know exactly what it takes to keep your family safe during the cold season. So call or visit us online today. On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. For news now, expect more on air, online, and on the app. And the party is on in Winston-Salem. The hundreds of students stormed the court after Wake Forest beat the eighth-ranked Duke Blue Devils over the weekend. In this video, you can see one of the Blue Devils' star players getting injured right there. Now, Duke head coach John Shire is demanding more to be done to keep players safe. ABC's Rena Roy explains. This video is showing Wake Forest fans storming the basketball court over the weekend after upsetting the eighth-ranked Duke Blue Devils. Now sparking debate about the tradition. In the middle of it all, Duke star Kyle Filipowski colliding with several Wake Forest fans, injuring his knee as he falls to the ground. After the game, Filipowski tweeting, this gotta change. Freshman guard Caleb Foster also hurt. Now their coach John Shire speaking out, saying Filipowski is still a little sore, and Foster is waiting on results from imaging for his injury. Shire calling for change. Well, the ACC needs to do something. Like, we, there has to be something done uh, to protect our guys. To protect not just our guys, but any team that's in that situation. Shire hoping to see increased security, ropes, and disciplinary measures to help protect players or a ban altogether. We shouldn't wait until next year. or Something should be done right now. This is not only foreseeable, it's inevitable. And we've had significant injuries over this in the past, to, to fans especially, and nothing really changes. And just last month, Iowa star Caitlin Clark collided with an Ohio State fan rushing the floor. She was helped off the court by security. In recent years, some conferences have begun fining schools upwards of $100,000 if fans rush the court. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Well, the race to replace Congresswoman Catherine Morris Rogers continues to grow, which Spokane officials says he's running for Congress coming up and concerns over ballot security as we get closer to the presidential primary. Why you're required to mark your party affiliation on the outside of the envelope next on 4 News Now. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything from out. design and products to removal and installation. Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. Emma? My name's Emma, too. Are you? Yeah, you, in a few years. How? You went back to school, finished your degree. Continue your education online or in person. Now accepting applications. Face your future with Whitworth University. Adult education programs.
It only happens once every four years. So this week, Walker's Furniture is celebrating leap year with the biggest discounts of the year where you can get unbeatable savings. Every bedroom set, dining room set, and comfortable sofas or sectionals where you can take advantage of no interest financing until next leap year with no money down. But you better hurry to save this big. Because savings like these only happen every four years at Walker's. Fishing trip hit a snag. Won't stop us. In a Nissan SUV, adventure begins where the road ends. Drive a Nissan SUV. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Pathfinder. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything. From out. design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. Next ET, Hollywood honors their own. What else are they going to talk about? <laughs> the couples, the fashion, the viral moments. ET at the SAG Awards. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. It's Money Makeover Week on Good Morning Northwest. From retirement planning to help with your taxes, easy budgeting tips and tools, plus money smart advice for kids and college students. Our Money Makeover Week continues tomorrow only on Good Morning Northwest. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Another Republican candidate is throwing his hat in the ring to replace Eastern Washington Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers. Today, former Washington State Senator and current Spokane County Treasurer Michael Baumgartner announced he's running for Congress. Baumgartner joins a long list of candidates, including Spokane City Council Member Jonathan Bingle, State Representative Jacqueline Maycumber, and several Democratic candidates. I'm running for Congress because I believe, and what I feel, is that the American dream is dying. And I feel we need to protect the American dream. Baumgartner served as a state senator from 2011 to 2018. His term as Spokane County Treasurer isn't up until the 2026 election. And the countdown to the November presidential election is on. With Washington's presidential primary election coming up next month, many people have said they're concerned about how secure their ballots really are. One viewer reached out to 4 News Now asking why Washington voters have to mark their preferred party on the ballot's envelope. Bronte Suratsky joins us live outside the Spokane County Elections Office. And Bronte, some are worried their personal information will be used for election tampering. Well, Derek, I took these concerns to Spokane County Auditor Vicki Dalton. Now, this practice isn't new for Washington State, and the only thing that election workers will see on the ballot is the political party. This election is for the use of the political parties. And that's why voters have to choose one to vote in the presidential primary. On the back side of your ballot's envelope, you'll have to mark your preference, Democrat or Republican. We need that oath prominently displayed so that we can physically separate the envelopes when they come in. Viewers reached out to 4 News Now asking why voters have to show their party preference all of a sudden. But this isn't new for the Washington presidential primary. This particular election is unlike any other election that we hold. We brought these concerns straight to the elections office. County Auditor Vicki Dalton explains how election workers keep your information secure. Election workers use your party preference to separate the ballots. Now, we do not know who the voter is. All we know is they either went into a Democratic pile, a Republican pile, or a no selection pile. And once we open those envelopes, your name and your ballot are no longer associated with each other. For those worried about exposing their party preference, it's public information and it's in safe hands. Dalton wants voters to know that these elections are secure and essential to democracy. If you don't make a choice, then that means somebody else made the choice for you. Now, the presidential primary is March 12th, and we'll be sure to keep you up to date with everything that you need to know so that you can be informed come November. Reporting live in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now.
Thank you, Bronte. Well, here's a live look over downtown Spokane. We have some major changes on the way. We're going to send it over to meteorologist Matt Gray to find out when we can expect the return of some real snow. Yeah, some real snow, which will be in about 24 hours. We will start to see that begin to wake its way down to the valleys. In the mountains, it's already been here since last night. And some updated information for you. We've shown you how bad Snoqualmie Pass has looked all night long. Now information from... Uh, Washington State DOT, it's closed starting at Ellensburg westbound from Spokane. So if you were perhaps headed towards the west side tomorrow morning, I don't know when the snow is going to be stopping in the Cascades. It's going to be off and on all night long, and then there's more on the way for tomorrow. So definitely make sure that you check your road conditions. It is not a great travel week through the mountains, and there's not going to be a lot of good windows. So you really just need to be prepared. You can see that snow just coming down there over Snoqualmie Pass and really starting uh, way, way before you get to the head of the pass. Meanwhile, here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, we've seen a mix of grapple and light snow throughout the day. Hasn't really stuck to anything since we've been above freezing. You can see some of those showers around Liberty Lake through Post Falls and into Coeur d'Alene. Rathrum, you're about to get another shower here within the next few minutes. Now, in general, things are going to be calming down a little bit, and that does include some of the snow that we've been seeing around places like Genesee, Lewiston, into the Soton area, and around Lapway. All of this over the next hour, hour and a half, will finally start to get out of here, at least for now. We have more snow that's going to be coming in for Tuesday night. That's definitely going to make things slick and slippery, especially on the Idaho side of the state line before we turn to rain and have an even more complicated forecast heading into the back end of the week. A lot for us to talk about coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Matt, thank you. Well, some of us may still have some leftover fall yard work to do. Luckily, the city of Spokane is beginning to pick up your yard waste again. Starting today, the city is resuming its curbside yard waste pickup. That green bin you've had stored away all winter can now be filled to the brim with compostable waste as long as the lid can completely close. Some of us still have some things left over from last fall, so get those carts out on the curb by 6 a.m. and we'll come by the same day your garbage and um, gets picked up and, and get that um, picked up for you. If you don't already have a yard waste bin, you can call 311 and get the service for $20.72 a month. Yard waste pickup runs from March to November. Now, retirement planning can seem overwhelming at any age, and it pays to start early. Slowly putting money away for later in life is a habit everyone can accomplish. Keeping up with inflation and trying to stick to a budget can make this process seem more difficult than it actually is. STCU's chief retail officer, Brian Reed, says no amount is too small as long as you're consistent with it. Those dollars add up over time. It may not feel like a lot if it's $20 a month or $50 a month or whatever you can do, but over 10, 20 years, it really can add up and make a difference. So it's super important to get started as early as you can and to stick with it. When deciding how much to contribute, Reed recommends deciding when you're going to retire and what you're going to do during retirement as a starting point. Tune into Money Makeover Week all week long on Good Morning Northwest. Our Allison Martinez is sharing tips and tricks from local experts to help you manage your finances. And it's no secret, college is expensive and tuition isn't going down anytime soon. That's why experts recommend parents start saving early. One of the most common savings plans is a 529. And there are some new changes to how these accounts work that may make them more appealing. First, what is a 529? It's a savings plan where your money's invested over a period of years. Any return you earn is exempt from federal taxes. If you use the money towards educational expenses, your withdrawals are tax-free. A 529 is a great tax advantage way to save and pay for qualified educational expenses. New this year, unused money can be rolled over into a Roth IRA. Here's how that works. The 529 must be held for a designated beneficiary, in this case, your child, for at least 15 years. Well, the shocking death of a nursing student who was kidnapped and killed while jogging at the University of Georgia is raising new concerns about women's safety. The incident is just the latest in targeted, targeted attacks against women exercising alone. Back in the summer of 2022, a woman was attacked on the Centennial Trail in Kendall Yards here in Spokane while out on a morning walk. Spokane police said she wasn't seriously injured, but according to the victim's sister, the attacker strangled and hit her repeatedly. Some women are now taking control of their own safety by signing up for self-defense classes. 
sadly, not until you're in that situation that you realize, oh, I'm not equipped for this. Experts also stress being aware of your surroundings at all times. Avoid tuning out the world with headphones, recruit a friend, and prioritize open and populated areas. And if all else fails, scream as loud as you can to scare a would-be attacker. Still ahead, find out if your car can get you a few free lift tickets next month coming up. And concerns over the new MLB uniforms while players and fans are not happy. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now Daily Local at KXLY.com. It's time to beat the summer rush for your new fence installation or automation installation. Plus, save 15% on all retail stock materials during the Northwest Fence Early Spring Sale. Nobody builds them better. I just turned 37 and I found a lump by the time that I had it checked out and was able to get in and see a doctor and all that. I'd, I was at stage three. Part of the reason I think that I didn't go get it checked out right away is that I was really scared. When I got the call, it was gone. It was such a huge relief. Even if you don't feel that it's in you, that you have a lump or you have a reason to get checked, you are a woman, get checked. It's time to leap into savings this February at both Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene as Cal Cars is offering a super deal where you can bring your tax return in and Cal will help match it up to $2,000. Plus, when you come in and take a test drive, you'll qualify to win $250,000 on February 29th. It's the perfect chance to get a new set of wheels for less with a $2,000 tax match this week at Cal. This is a case about a love triangle that turned deadly. The football hero, his wife, and the other woman. His wife is murdered. When David was found guilty, I was like, finally. And then... A major twist to come. Bad Romance, tonight on ABC. Hey, Ben, the thermostat's acting up. You work for Bill's Heating and Air. You know how to fix this, right? I just do the commercials. Ben, the AC's broken. Come on, you work for Bill's. You must know something about this. Bro, I'm just their spokesperson. Dude, the furnace is so loud. You work for Bill's Heating. You can fix it, right? You do know I'm a basketball player, right? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. What Dr. Phil's no-nonsense cure for what's ailing America. Next, in Sun Edition, his new book, We've Got Issues, and his brutally honest look at the state of the nation today. Ten principles for saving this society. Can common sense bring us back together? Then, behind the scenes at the SAG Awards. Watch the next Inside Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. All right, listen up, Toyota owners. You have a few more chances next month to hit the slopes for free. It's all part of the company's Free Ski Fridays. This Friday, you can get a free pass to 49 degrees north Next Friday, March 8th, it's to Silver. Mount Spokane's Free Ski Friday is on the 15th, and Lookout Pass is on the 22nd. So, Matt, for people planning to hit the slopes this week, <laughs> what is the weather going to look like? I'm guessing pretty good on the mountains, right? Oh, uh, well, Lookout was, uh, you know, they were, they were they were doing some business. They were sending me the old tweets today. They were like, hey, we got like 21 inches on the top of the peak <laughs> That's here amazing. last night. I'm telling you. This is going to be one of the best ski weeks, and next weekend looks like one of the best ski weekends of the season so far because okay. we've got more snow on the way. And so let's start with that mountain pass forecast. This should give you a good idea of what we're expecting for this midweek storm up in the mountains and the Cascades. Oh, there's going to be a lot, at least a foot, maybe even more than two feet in some of those higher areas. Meanwhile, likely we are going to see at least six inches up in the mountains in North Idaho. And in many areas, it'll be a lot more than that. Tuesday night through Wednesday, and there's a chance for more snow coming in for Thursday, and then more snow as we head into Friday and Saturday. Desperately needed snow up in the mountains.
not just for skiing, but for our overall snowpack situation, as we've told you about all year. There will be a little blip here, which is our snow level is going to rapidly rise here with this next storm on Wednesday at about 4,600 feet. If you're above this line, you're seeing snow. If you're below this line, we're seeing rain. And so we're going to see a transition here Tuesday night through Wednesday around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. And then by the end of the week, we will transition back to snowy weather. So let's take you through this first one here for the first half of the week. Getting up in the morning, snow showers around Lookout Pass, light snow showers as you head into the central Idaho panhandle. Hopefully we'll have seen the snow calm down at least for a few hours in the Cascades where things, as I showed you on Snoqualmie, are looking not so great. Don't think that's going to last for long. By the afternoon, it's snowing in the Cascades again. By the evening, we've got snow moving across Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. I think we'll get through the evening commute just fine. This is going to be fairly light snow, so it's not going to be stacking up uh, in any speedy fashion, so to say. Plus, we're going to have a fairly quick transition, especially in eastern Washington, over to rain. And so likely your commute in many areas is going to be slushy on Wednesday morning instead of snowy and slippery. Now, where it will be slippery or where there'll be a better chance of that is going to be around uh, the Silver Valley, St. Mary's, Pullman and Moscow, Coeur d'Alene, and then north through the Panhandle, where we could see some decent snow totals into that three, four, maybe even five inch range in some areas before we see that rain transition and things start to melt. Around Metro Spokane, we're thinking about an inch or two, but as we get up in the morning, a lot of this will already be turning slushy. So some positives there. Another thing we're gonna be looking at for Wednesday because of this big temperature change is going to be the winds. If you remember Sunday, just yesterday, it was pretty darn windy. We've got another day like that coming up for Wednesday. The highest winds are likely going to be in this triangle here from Moses Lake to the Grand Coulee towards Spokane and then into the Ritzville area. I guess it's more of a parallelogram. My apologies to all of you math friends out there. And so these are the areas where we could see gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Elsewhere, 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts. We did see some isolated power outages last night, so just something to keep in mind. Make sure you have those flashlight batteries in the junk drawer charged up. Looks like things are going to be pretty quiet for the rest of the night. Just a few snow showers that are wrapping up here in the next couple of hours. Chilly tonight will be in the mid-20s in Spokane. Look at Colville and Sandpoint. We'll be down into the teens tonight. Teens in the Met Howe Valley as well. And we'll be in the low to mid 30s across most of the region for tomorrow, where we will see less of those Garoppoli showers. Here's the rest of the week. I told you we're going to be headed back towards snow. We'll keep an eye on what at least appears to be light accumulations right now on Saturday. It looks like it'll be a snowy start to the weekend. Huzzah! Hip, hip. In Spokane Valley today, people gathered to audition for roles as 1519-era Renaissance actors. The Spokane Renaissance Fair held the casting call for fairies and fae, town folk and nobility, welcoming anyone to audition, even without experience. Even though these positions are not paid, many came to get in the Renaissance spirit. We are more about having fun and being together as a family and spreading our enjoyment throughout anyone we can. And we really want to just bring the emotion and sensation of what it was like to be back during that time. Now the fair is planned for the first weekend of October. If you missed the audition today, you can head to KXY.com for more information on how to try out. Well, Washington State head football coach Jake Dickert stopped by our studio to talk about the upcoming season, NIL, and the Cougars bowl game hopes. Part one of our interview with Coach Dickert coming up next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further than Mainstream Electric. My parents started their first dealership in Coeur d'Alene in 1983. They took pride in being locally owned and work hard to help this great community we call home. Now, three generations later, we're still proud to be one of the last locally owned Subaru dealerships. And we're working harder than ever to give back to the community that has supported us all these years. Because we're looking forward to being your local family Subaru dealer for generations to come. Want free college or career training? 
It's possible. He was a university high school freshman who needed extra attention, but the person hired to help him violated him instead. Where is that paraeducator now? How much did the school have to pay? And why wasn't this case enough to stop it from happening again? Watch Thursday, only on 4 News Now at 6. You're feeding it. I will, I promise. Thanks to our Premier Rewards Visa credit card from ICCU, we earned enough cash back to stock up on puppy supplies. But we don't have a puppy. They're very convincing children. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago is a pretty great way to start a speech. But if it's also the age of your furniture, it might be time for a home refresh during the extended President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend and check out special purchases while they last. Plus six years, no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. But hurry, the extended President's Day Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. For a limited time, Pape Machinery is blowing out select model year 2023 inventory at dealer cost. Pick up a brand new John Deere compact tractor for a fraction of the original price. Stop by Pape Machinery Ag and Turf today to get started. Sports on 4 News Now is brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Casino. Some breaking news now. Snoqualmie Pass closed in both directions due to multiple crashes. Eastbound traffic stopped at North Bend. Westbound is stopped at Ellensburg. No word yet on when the pass will reopen. Spring football just a few weeks away. The WCU Cougars are looking to bounce back after missing out on a bowl game last season. Cougs head coach Jake Dickert stopped by our studio to chat with Julian Minson about the upcoming season. Well, Jake, thanks for taking the time. We could talk about your players all day long, but I think the number one position group that everyone always wants to talk about is quarterback. You guys are going to have a new starting one next season. Now, I know you've stressed competition, yeah. but John Mateer seems to be the guy that has the most experience under his belt outside of the great flow that he's got. Top five <laughs> hair on the team probably, right? Yeah. Caught a pass last year. I don't know if that's the criteria for a quarterback or not, but uh, it's going to be a great competition. You know, I think John... You know, we were out there looking in the portal. One thing we were unwilling to do was just say, hey, we're going to bring somebody in just to be the starter. We got a guy that we've developed uh, not only as a leader, but as a football player. His confidence is growing each and every day. And I think he's going to be really efficient running our offense. You know, now, just like any other position that we have, Zevi Eckhouse has come in, uh, Evans Chuba, Jackson Potter. Uh, obviously, when you get the quarterback position right, we all know there's going to create success for your football team. So this announcement will go all the way up probably to about game week of Portland State and just excited to see these guys compete their tail off each and every practice. Now, continuity is another important thing. And with the NCAA's NIL rules at least being suspended for now, how does that impact Washington State when it comes to preventing other programs from trying to lure those guys away? Well, I think the biggest thing I told our coaches coming back from the Christmas break is we retained 97% of our roster, and that's something that you can't take lightly. But a lot of people want to give me the credit. We got a bunch of players that want to be around each other, and they formulated such a connection. They don't want to let each other down, and they want to be around our coaches. We got a bunch of good mentors and men that want to lead them to create value for those guys as football players. So. Rules are changing each and every day. It's hard to keep up with it. All we can do is, as Cougs and as a football program, is continually to put our best foot forward and maintain our roster here because we're going to be a developmental program. we got to be able to find that two-star that we feel has great size attributes and develop those guys. But then when it's time to keep them, we got to be able to reward those guys. And WSU, the standard is a bowl game, postseason opportunities. Yeah. How do you get this program back to one after missing out this past season? Well, I think the biggest thing is you got to stay true to the process. And the biggest thing is as things have changed around us, all we can do is worry about ourselves. Our motto is always us, never them. So no matter what happens, it's just the things that we do and that we control. And when you stack a bunch of one and O's, that's how you give yourselves opportunity to go to bowl games. So it's one game at a time. Bowl game is what you do at the end. As we go throughout the process of the season, we're excited about our schedule. We're excited about how that came about in a short period of time. But at the end of the day, it's about what we're willing to do and sacrifice to be successful every Saturday. Well, 
Part two of Julian's one-on-one -on -one interview with Coach Dickert will air tomorrow at 6.30 here on 4 News Now. Spring training is already underway, and one of the biggest issues for many fans and players is the new uniforms. ABC's Will Reeve has the story. This morning, Major League Baseball spring training is underway and flying by the seat of its pants, literally. The new pants are 100% see-through. A league-wide uniform overhaul years in the making is now in effect. And issues with the jerseys and pants causing an uproar among some players and fans. You can see the Nike logo of this guy's like spandex under his pants. Why did no one think to test the pants first? Images of players in see-through pants and jerseys with small lettering going viral. Commentators weighing in as well. The names and the numbers have shrunk to little Lilliputian size. The uniforms are designed by Nike with input from Major League Baseball and manufactured by Fanatics. The new threads have been in development since 2018. The goal was to make the uniforms lighter and more breathable. An idea similar to George Costanza's in an episode of Seinfeld. Polyester. <laughs> I can't believe you're not playing a cop. Well, this is what they give us. And the numbers and letters on the back are screen pressed rather than embroidered. A major flashpoint for fan criticism. In trying to reduce the weight, they changed the size of the lettering. That you don't want to have big embroidery like that yeah. on a, a lighter, stretchier jersey. The new uniforms made their debut at last year's All-Star Game. Players who wore them singing their praises at the time. I can feel the jersey being a little more breathable. But some now singing a different tune. MLB saying, based on player requests, adjustments are being made to jersey size, waist, inseam, length, thigh fit, and the bottom of their pants. The feel was okay, the lighter fabric was okay, but the look really threw players off. And then when they took them out on the field, fans noticed it very quickly as well. All right, saw a lot of those complaints on social media last week. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. So what do you think about these? Yeah, we love it. When it's time for an update or a complete remodel, Rebath is with you every step of the way. We're going to take everything down to the side. From design and products to removal and installation, we handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Honey, you were right. Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. Fred's Appliance is your go-to destination for cutting-edge home appliances. Upgrade your kitchen with the all-new Bosch dishwasher line. In stock and on sale. Say goodbye to dirty dishes and hello to crystal clear results. With sleek design and advanced technology, Fred's Appliance and Bosch make a perfect pair for your kitchen. Visit us today and experience the future of dishwashing. Fred's Appliance, transforming the heart of your home. So here it is, Northern Quest's best car ever. Shotgun. Anton already called it. You can play a game of pig for it. It's your funeral. Fine, but we're playing hippopotamus. <laughs> play daily to win a brand new Mercedes Benz, only at Northern Quest. It's time to beat the summer rush for your new fence installation or automation installation. Plus, save 15% on all retail stock materials during the Northwest Fence Early Spring Sale. Nobody builds them better. It's Money Makeover Week on Good Morning Northwest. From retirement planning to help with your taxes, easy budgeting tips and tools, plus money smart advice for kids and college students. Our Money Makeover Week continues tomorrow only on Good Morning Northwest. On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. 4 News Now is brought to you by Papa Murphy's. Well, I tell you what, other than being kind of chilly, Tuesday looking pretty okay overall by Tuesday night. However... 
things are going to change. A wet and windy Wednesday could be a little slippery in the morning, too. All right, we told you again, uh, a Snoqualmie Pass closed between Ellensburg and North Bend. We'll update you on that tonight on Nightside at 11. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.